when I'm animating in Maya, I often find that this is a bit ball, by the way. Boom, boom, boom. I often find that um, if I'm wanting to add or you know tweak pose between some keys, I'll be using the, uh, the hotkeys to bounce back and forward. Just flip through a few poses and make a change, flip through a few poses. But the trouble with that um, is that if I have to, like, I'll push undo now, control Z, and now I have to undo every single one of those little um, time changes before I could finally get back to the actual change that I wanted to make and undo, which is irritating. But, um, I have found a solution, and it comes in the form of this blog post here, which is quite nice. And I'll, uh, you can get the link of this in the description. So basically what we do is um, we change the hotkeys. So we go to hotkey editor, down to layback controls, and we'll start with next frame. So next frame. Copy and paste this code here, and what this does is it turns off uh, new frame. Next frame, um, no, no, undo, you can name this whatever you want, paste it in there, uh, and just keep going. Um, yeah, so what this does is it um, basically just turns off undo. Um, just for the duration of the, the button push, and then it pops it back on again afterwards, so it just sort of turns a blind eye to um, the uh, this particular action, which is quite desirable, because if that is highly annoying, and I do not want to have to... Um, Keep on doing absolutely every single thing. Thank you. Uh, and that's pretty risky. And the cool thing with this is you only have to do it once. Although I am doing it twice because now I am doing a video. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got our new selection of keys. So we go up in here, next frame, here's the, um, the code, option dot. So we go here, dot, and option. Sign, do I want to replace it? Yes, we do. Previous frame, and we choose this one. Option dash, option sign, yes. Uh, next key, which is dot. So I'm just going to say previous frame, which is plus dash as it is, dash with option, sign, yes. Frame right there, and the previous key is dash. And we'll save it, and it does say you need to restart, but I'm pretty sure you can get away without restarting. So that's probably a good idea too, anyway. So now, um, you know, I can make a change. I can say, hmm, back and forward, this change is pretty terrible. It's now not bouncing correctly at all. Let me just go back and undo. And there I am. Uh, I just pushed undo twice, by the way. And it's undone the move straight away without having to go back and undo every single tiny little incremental um, time slider of change I made. Having said that, this still that only works with hockeys. Um, like if I drag this to here and here, it's still going to undo all of that um, manual dragging. But, you know, it's something. It does help. So there you go.